welcome to Data Science Using Python. This time we're going to look at t-tests. Uh, probably just the one sample one, and the next video we'll do the two sample one, just to keep you in mind of where you should be if you're looking for one or the other. All right, so what we're going to do is get going here. Now, notice I've added a line already to the code, okay? So I'm going to bring in stuff, but I've added a line to the code. We're going to be using the impulsivity data set just like we did before, so you should read that in. Uh, we're going to use this new package called, well, it's not new, but it's new to us, uh, SciPy, and we're going to use the stats portion of it, and we're giving it an alias, just like we gave the other one, so we can not have to type all of that, and I called it ST. Some people might call it something different. It doesn't matter to me what you call it, just so you can alias it correctly. All right, so we're going to look at impulsivity one, uh, the first column, and we want to do a test on it. We want to actually test to see if it's greater than zero. So here's our hypothesis test. And this is going to take us the longest, um, is to lay out the hypothesis. So we're going to be interested in H naught that mu is equal to 70, or the alternative, if I can type it, uh, is that mu is not equal to 70 put here not equals to 70 so this is a two-sided test and this is pretty easy to work with all right so the next thing we need to do is have a significance level and a lot of people try to avoid the significance level and they just pick 0.05 but remember we're not going to pick 0.05 here for one big reason we don't have to, okay? Uh, this is how often we'd like to be wrong, and we'd like to be wrong, how about this? Uh, 0 0.013, uh, which would be wrong about 1.3% of the time on a question like this, okay? So the next thing we would want to do is what st statistic are we going to use? And we are going to use the t-test, and we're going to be more specific about it. We are going to say that we are going to use the t-test, but we're going to use the one from SciPy stats. Why? Because if somebody were to try to reproduce this, you're telling them exactly what you used. All right, so the next thing we should do is come up with a decision rule. And it's the same as always. If the p-value is less than alpha, uh, we reject h not in favor of the alternative, aj. All right, now we can actually go do this, now that we've got everything set up here. So here we are, we've got everything set up, now we can actually type in our code. Well, let's see here, we are going to be interested in, well, we have to use the alias we have up here, right? We called this an alias. And uh, before I do that, I'm going to actually do a plot. So I'm just going to do a simple box plot uh, on here, imp1, uh, df, because uh, that's the name of it. And we're going to do imp1 is the one we're interested in. So here we go. We're going to run this here real quick. Uh, I think we've read everything in. Well, let's just run everything uh, at the moment. And sure enough, here's our picture. And you can see right here is about where 70 is. Now remember, we're not making a statement about the individual data points. We're interested in the mean of the overall data. So, or the mean in the population. So, does it look like it's different than 70? Well, maybe. But we do have this just as a visual reference so that we can make some decisions. All right, so here's our other alias, which is uh, for our t-test. And this is going to be one samp. And that's a one, not an L. Okay, and then I'm going to put in here imp1 df dot imp1 and then we have to put in uh this pop mean which is our population mean which is 70. okay and this is all we really need to put in here at the moment and we can run this and then we'll get some output out of this so let's give this a go on this one and see what pops out and we can see, boy, this is hard to decipher here. So we probably should write it out. Okay, so the T value, and we can copy and paste. T value is this number here, the statistics. And you don't have to go all the way out with it because you're just using it for reference. And you do want to kind of keep this around because if you ever want to come back to it, you don't have to rerun everything. All right, and the P value is right here. Okay. So I'll go this far out. That's all that matters. All right. And we'll notice that 
we have this information so we can make a decision. So our decision is since the p value, if I can type it, is equal to 0 0.00119, which is less than our 0 0.013, which is equal to alpha, we reject h naught. Okay, so then we can write a conclusion. We have sufficient evidence. Evidence. If I can type it to claim that impulsivity, the the mean impulsivity. Well, let's see here. Go to the next line. Impulsivity is not 70. Okay, we don't know whether it's bigger or less than. We guess that it's greater than, but we didn't test for that. But this is what we have here. Uh, and also, this is the mean impulsivity at time one. Okay, uh, because we used imp one, which was the impulsivity at time one. All right, so we've got everything here together. This keeps this video rather short, even though it's you know, not that short. But if you're doing this for a class, you should put all of this information in your code. Don't just simply put in here this bit and this bit. Chances are you'll not get a lot of credit for it. All right, so we'll move on to the two sample test in the next video. So I will see you there. Mm -hmm.